G'day guys, it's Billy here from losttreasure.com.au Well I'm just passing through on my way home uh, I'm not going to disclose where this location is but it's, um, I just popped in to say hello and introduce myself because there's a beautiful old house that I'd love to go metal detecting at but Anyway, this is um, a little uh, private museum owned by a guy um, by the name of Darren who I just met and I thought I'd show you what he's got. It's an amazing, amazing collection. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll start over here. As you can see, there's all types of knickknacks, old beautiful old toy cars. These, I think, are the old, possibly old fly spray um, um, for you know killing flies. It could be something different. Or tins. The old Swan Lager beer can, I've actually got one of those. The old meat grinders. These beautiful old tractors. He's found all this stuff. He's like me, he just loves going out, you know, looking for old relics and so forth. The old beautiful toy tractors. Oh, these are highly collectible. There's a little jar of pennies in there. Bottles, all types of knickknacks, more toy tractors, beautiful old toy grader, that'd be pretty collectible. And up there, he's got some more stuff, some old fuel tins. Beautiful old sign there, sheep. Well, they, these here are actually wool bale um, to go on the sheep wool bales. These are like um, usually they mean like the LBS com would be the initials for a certain farm. So these go into a wool bale and then you paint over these words here. So it's just like a stencil. And just here, there's more. These are very collectible. I've actually found a few of these ones before and sold them on eBay, but not as good a collect, not as good as condition as these ones. There's all old tools. I wouldn't have a clue what this is for. Darren's not here at the moment. He's just walked out. Probably something to do with shearing, possibly. It's a beautiful old motor there. Looks like it's steam driven. Just up here is the old shearing um, for shearing, shearing motors. All these beautiful old enamel signs. It's a bit dark, there's not much lighting in here. Look at that An old shell sign, far out, absolutely beautiful. This big long table here is an old wall um, table where it's really, really old. So back in the old days when they were shearing, um, they'd sort out the wool. The wool classes would go through all the wool, pick out, you know, all the bad parts of the wool. They'd actually f throw the fleece of the um, sheep's wool on top of this table. Some more beautiful old signs. Nice old number plates. That's a nice number plate there. It's actually like a plastic or wood. Never seen one like that. Nice old Olympic sign. An RAC, Royal Automobile Club. An Olympic, all Australian quality tyres. Another enamelled sign. <coughs> Here's a beautiful sign here. These signs would be worth a fortune. And these are really, really um, hard to find, especially complete before the um, stand and so forth. Very collectible. These old milk, these old um, oil bottles are. 
You see these on eBay all the time, they sell for heaps of money. <coughs> Beautiful old wooden boxes. Plume Motor uh, Spirit, I think I've got one of those. I know where a couple more are in the back of the ute and I've been trying to talk the farmer into letting me buy them off him. It's a beautiful old sign there, all enamel. That one there, nice old SO sign. <coughs> this is a working, like a working area. It's all just for display purposes only. It's a beautiful old Neptune oil sign. This must, this machine here must be something to do um, with making old, the old uh, wheels of horse carts and so forth. Oh, I've actually seen one of these before. I think that might be a rabbit um, for smoking. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that one is, but I have seen one before, exactly the same. More signs up there. It's a nice case sign that's a um, tractor company. The old, this is an old Australian style um, wood fire stove. Pretty collectible. Um, got good memories of these when I was a kid. It's called a meta stove, these are. But yeah, I actually see quite a few of these just laying in the um, remains of old farms, just sitting there like this in perfect condition, rusting away. There's another couple of beautiful old enamel signs. Oh, wow, I'd love to have a nice collection of signs like that. Um, and these are some beautiful. I've never seen Aboriginal um, rocks like this before. This is massive. These are like for grinding stones, for grinding um, native seeds into a flower type substance. So you can just imagine that the women would be have the seeds on here and they'd be, you know, turning the seeds into a nice flower. Same here. These are the biggest Aboriginal rocks I've ever seen before. Massive. And they would be worth an absolute fortune. Something like these on eBay, these big rocks would definitely sell for a thousand dollars plus. And some beautiful old cowbells. I found a few of these metal detecting before, but now I'd love to have as many as this. It's amazing. There's another nice old sign. More stuff down here, wooden box, the old milk container, wouldn't have a clue what this is. And just here's all samples of um, containing district wall clips. <coughs> 